Okay, so I just wanted to make a video basically discussing some potential predictions um, when it comes to the near future of this game of solo leveling arise. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'll probably have some gameplay going on in the background. I'll show you guys some tweets that I made and just have a discussion, have a bit of fun with it. So let's just get right into it. So I don't know if you guys saw this, but I've spoken about, about this before, but I'll talk about it again briefly, which is that the, devel the developers of this game, they put up a, a roadmap for the next si six months or for this game. So basically, we pretty much know what's coming. The roadmap is very vague, I'll start by saying that. But we've got a rough idea of what we can expect. Like at this time we can expect weapons, at this time we can expect characters, so on and so forth. And there's two things that really stand out on the roadmap that we really want to uh, put, our, put our attention towards. And those two things are the 100 day festival celebration and then after that it's gonna be the sixth month, the, the six month celebration, basically the half anniversary celebration. Those are the two main things we need to discuss in this video. Well, actually, the main thing I'm gonna discuss is the 100 day celebration, because that's the one that's coming up next. Obviously, considering 100 days is less than six months, obviously. Anyway, let's just talk about it. So, my personal prediction is that we're gonna get Thomas Andre Total. And let me say this me, me included with this. I recommend everyone, unless you're a whale, if you're a whale you can do whatever you want, Like meaning if you spend a lot of money on the game you can do whatever you want, but if you're not a whale and you don't spend that much money on the game, if any, and we, because I spend a little bit of money but not much, but we need to be saving for the 100 day celebration and then after that for the 6th month um, ce celebration for the half anniversary, um, we should be saving for those two and pretty much skip every other banner. Because not only will these units be the best, those banners might even um, bring a bit more value. So for example in Dokkan, like in other gacha games, um, in the major celebrations, they give discounted multis, so you're saving your stones, or you're getting more out of your stones and things like that. Um, again, for example in Dokkan, sometimes they do like a 3 plus 1, where you do 3 multis and you get a 1 free. Hopefully, solo leveling um, does something like that, maybe like a step up, a step up banner or something like that. But yeah, the 100 day celebration for this game, the, what, what I personally am predicting for the festival celebration is Thomas Andre Total. The reason he is my prediction is because the developers of the game did a survey, I've spoken about it before, and they were asking like what characters do you want to see next in the game and the winner was Thomas Andre Total, number two was an original character and number three was um, Ilhawan, I don't know how to say his name, but Thomas was the one that won. Um, and me personally, I can't wait to see this guy in the game, in all his glory. Thomas Andre Total, I am definitely looking forward to that. As you may have noticed, I did tweet um, a decent amount today. I've got more that I tweeted, because so far I've only shown two. I've got more, I'll get to them in a second, but I can't wait to see him in all his gro glory. Again, the 100 day celebration right now, we're on day like 23 or something like that. So we're getting there um, sooner than later and we need to be prepared with our stones. And I'll be honest, when it comes to Thomas Andre Total, I'm, me, me, me personally, I'm an anime only. So I don't know anything about this guy. Literally nothing, zero, nada. The only thing I know is that he looks cool and that's why I'm excited. He looks cool and that's, that's exactly why I'm excited. And I can't wait for his debut in the game because that's going to be a good day. The 100 day festival celebration, I can't wait for that. That's going to be hype as hell because a lot of people are excited for this character anyway. But the fact that you, you combine this character that people are excited for with the 100 day festival celebration, it's going to be a good time in the game. Now I don't know if you guys know this, but you probably will by now, but the next character coming to this game, more than likely, this isn't confirmed, but it seems very, very, very likely, I'm talking like a 90% chance, the, the, the next character coming to the game is this person over here. I don't know her name, I don't care about her, I don't... I think it's in the game, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really excited for the original characters, 
Like if there was guys and they were cool, maybe I'd be excited for it. But I'm not excited for this. I'll I'll be honest. Um, even if she's good, um, depending on how good she is, she's almost going to be an easy skip just because number one, we already have the a lot of blue you like AGL uh, water type units in the game is the word that I'm looking for. So number one, she's not needed from that perspective, and then number two, you want to save for the major celebrations anyway. So even though I don't know what she does, more than likely I'm gonna say skip. Um, very much likely that, that I'm gonna say that. It's unlikely that I'm gonna summon. I'm probably I'll, at most I might do one multi just for the content. But outside of that, um, it's a skip. It's a skip. It's a skip. Um, she looks so. Look, I was gonna say she looks cool, but I don't care. I'll I'll be honest. Uh, that there's nothing that will make me excited for this unit. Um, we need some male characters in this game because the females is is at this point it's literally just female leveling her eyes. Um, but what I will say is my current favorite unit in the game until Thomas arrives. Because when Thomas arrives, he will likely be my favorite, d depending on how good he is and what he does. But until then, my current favorite unit is honestly Min. I just like support units, I'm gonna be honest, I, I just like them, because they buff your DPS units and that's where you have the most fun. So I, I am a big fan of this guy, me personally, I've got him with a dupe and I've got Char with three dupes and that is a combo, Mwah, beautiful combo, beautiful combo, you do love to see it. And the current banner, let's just quickly discuss that. Great Alicia, great unit, I did a multi and I pulled her, even if I didn't, I wouldn't care. But I did, so I'm happy about that. But again, great unit. I feel like if you want to use her as a DPS unit, as a, a damaging unit, you need dupes. I don't have any dupes, and I'm not going for dupes. Um, she's she's good, and not only that, but she. If you have dupes, like she's probably like the first, or probably second best unit in the game. I'd probably say Charles number one, and then she's probably number two. Um, but again, I do think you should skip and save for the 100 day celebration. Most likely the most Andre total. You heard it here first. Anyway, let's continue. I just I just wanted to tweet something, so I tweeted this. When did Aizen arrive? You guys tell me, do you know who Aizen is? I'm not gonna tell you where he's from. You sh you I could tell you. If you, if you wanna know, you can just ask, but if you already know, then let me know. Who is Aizen? Do you know who Aizen is? Very, very big anime. One of, one of the best of all time, the anime, where Aizen is from. And if you do know who Aizen is, you can't tell me this guy doesn't look like Aizen. Okay, fair enough, he's got a different hair colour. But the glasses and the face? Oh, he looks like Aizen. Even the hairstyle. I'm just saying. Okay, we've got a quick tier list that I want to have a quick look at and see if we agree or disagree. I don't really have, like, extremely strong opinions, but let's discuss it. The fact that you've got Alicia and Char in their own tier, I think there's other units that are comparable, but if you want to put them in their own tier, fair enough. The only thing I'll say is... SM Beck, Lee Bora, all of the SSRs here, I feel like are misplaced. I think all of them are on par with the S tier units. I think you can probably put a tier between SS and S tier, and in between there you can put Min, So, and Emma, and then in S tier you can put Beck, Eisen, I don't know what it's called, Choi, SM Beck, and Lee Bora. And the to be fair, I think these two SSRs are a bit too low. So okay, okay, let me just say that again. Top tier, fair enough. B tier, as a minimum, these two are too low, I feel like. But I don't really care. Let's, let, let's just continue. I don't even know if I'm making sense right now, but let's continue. And we're going to end with this, because what the hell is that multi? Like, what on earth? Is, is this even real? Is this even real? Three Alicias in one multi. My boys, I've never even pulled two SSRs in one multi. And I've been getting very lucky in this game. I've been getting extremely lucky, I admit that. But to pull three, not only three SSRs in one multi, but all of them are Alicia. That is, the, the look you need for that is, ooh, that's fair play. Fair bloody play is all I can say to that. But like I said, that is a great place to end, because what on earth is that? Anyway, let's do a quick subscriber challenge. If you guys have never had even half of this look, then you have to in this game then you have to subscribe because that is the challenge with that said i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did then do subscribe especially if you just failed that challenge because that is indeed the challenge also do leave a like and comment because those things do help out with that said 
Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Ta-ta, adios and bye-bye.